So there's one tool in DaVinci Resolve that I use all the time and it's been there since day one and hardly anyone mentions it on YouTube. So I've just finished grading a documentary and I was in this tool all the time. It made me realize that I need to do an episode to show you all about it. So I'm talking about Lightbox. So let's go and take a look. Now, obviously I can't show you the actual documentary because it's not even been broadcast yet. So what I'm gonna do is use this music promo that I graded a couple of months ago. This is by a fantastic band called Delta Sleep. I'll put a link in the description. It's a great little video. And so I'm just gonna use this. So it's obviously not as many shots as I did on the documentary, but it lets you see how Lightbox works. So we've got our timeline here. This is about, uh, well, it's exactly 179 shots. The documentary I just worked on has about a thousand shots, but you see that basically you have to scroll through here to find the shots and scenes. So what we can do is go up here and check out Lightbox. And when you open up Lightbox, you basically get the thumbnail icon of every single scene that you've got. So what happens is down here, this is the time code of your timeline. And as you scroll down, you basically scroll through the entire program. So when I'm working on a thousand or 1500 shots, this makes life incredibly easy just for simple navigation. So on this side here, you've got a few different uh, menus, which we'll look at up here. You can switch the information symbol off. Uh, the little color coded here tells me that it's been graded. And this just closes down that. You can also expand the size of these thumbnails as well. So make them whatever size you want. And the first thing I do is use it just for literally navigating around. So if I wanna have a look at, let's say this shot here, it's easy to find because I've just got all the thumbnails of all the scenes, come out of Lightbox and the timeline's updated in the color page to show me that same shot. So that's a really quick and easy way of using Lightbox is just for basic navigation. The other main thing that I use it for is grouping. This is not the only thing I use it for, but grouping is so much easier to do here. So you'll see here, so for example, we've got, I've got this scene here is already grouped. You can see by the icon here. And if I click on here, the groups menu, there's all the groups that I've already made. So this is interior one, and I've got interior two, I've got the rooftop, and I've got the nighttime. So if I come out of groups by clicking on all clips, Let's make one more group. I'll show you how easy that is to do. Basically, if I click a uh, section with a pool, so if I just command and select these shots here, then I can right hand click, add them into a new group. I'm gonna call that pool. And that's done, but it's so much easier to set up when you, particularly when you're working with like a thousand shots, it's so much easier to do it in a mode like this. But we can actually grade using Lightbox. Now it's not my main tool that I use for grading, but sometimes it's really easy to just copy and paste grades across, something like that. So what we can do is, uh, let's take this shot here, for example. So it's now orange, so we know it's the selected shot. And I could copy the grade from this here by just literally middle mouse clicking my mouse, or my pen in this case. And that has now copied that grade across. I've even got grading controls. So you can click up here and there's all my color controls. So I can literally start grading the actual shot. Now obviously I'm not gonna see that in here because I haven't got my GUI, but I've actually got a reference monitor here giving me live output all the time. So it really is easy. And these are linked to my panel as well. So I can literally grade and have Lightbox open at the same time. So it's really useful. And even just for giving your director a hand, there's sometimes they say, oh, there's a, there's a scene later on and we had a particular shot that I liked the look of. I can go into Lightbox and the director can see really easily all the shots that we've got for all the scenes and they can go, oh yeah, it's that one there. They just literally point to the shot and we click on it and we're in the right place. So it's great. So it's really good just for simple navigation. I can actually scrub through these thumbnails as well. So you literally just click and scrub so you can see the actual action in there. And another thing we can do uh, to check that our scenes are balancing well and the overall look of the project is going well, what you can actually do is use this really cool feature up here, which will actually send this literally light box view to my output reference monitor. And what's nice with that is it'll literally send all the menus and everything as well. So if we clean this up, let's get rid of that. Let's click on that eye. By the way, before I do that, if you just double click here, you can bring up uh, clip information and codec information. So let's switch the eye off. And then what I do is make this a nice, as large a view as I can so we can fit all the shots in. Obviously I can't fit 1500 shots in here, but you get a pretty good viewpoint. And then I'm gonna pr literally press this button here and that is now feeding straight out to my output monitor. So on a reference monitor, I get a really clear view of how the grade's going. And you just generally get a good feel for whether it's balancing well or not. So to bring that back out, we just literally press this button again. And if I bring my menus back, the other thing I use Lightbox for is uh, when I finished my grade, the first thing I do is go to some of these filters down here. So I've got ungraded clips. 
So I can click on here and just see if there's any clips that I haven't even graded, particularly on long form documentary stuff. It's really easy to just miss a couple of clips. Let's put that back onto there. Uh, I can view my groups. So I've got, if I just want to view that scene there, and when I go out of Lightbox, that's all that shows up in the color page. So you really are filtering your clips, it's great. Let's go back in here. So I've got interior two, I've got my roof scene. And to come out, just press all clips. And I can even do things like the other useful ones I use, things like noise reduction. So just check I've got all my noise reduction on the clips that I want. You can even switch noise reduction on and off. So if you wanted to have your system running a little bit quicker, you might go to your noise reduce clips and switch it all back on. You've got um, track shots, so you can check your tracking's good. And you've even got custom filters down here, so you can actually type in your own metadata and do searches on that. So if you wanna see more tools that I use when I'm grading long form programs, check out this video here. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next episode.